dear followers, in the footsteps of Jesus on his way through the dead on the cross to new life in the resurrection. At the foot of the cross, we kneel with humble heart and pray. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. On Good Friday, we are invited to contemplate the mystery of the cross, where Jesus, innocent and without sin, willingly gave himself up for our salvation. The crucifix is presented for adoration, inviting us to relieve the journey of the innocent lamb, sacrifice for our salvation, and to remember those who suffer in the world today. Through the cross, the Father's mercy is fully revealed, offering hope and authentic life to all who embrace its mystery in faith. Good Friday reminds us of the continuous trials, wars, persecutions in history and today, where so many people experience suffering. Together with Pope Francis, we pray. O cross of Christ, today too we see you in the tragic and bloody wars in Ukraine, Palestine, and in Africa, where the innocent blood of our brothers and sisters is shed, and the tears of so many mothers who have lost children in war mingle with those of your Holy Mother. O cross of Christ, today too we see you in thieves and corrupt officials who instead of safeguarding the common good and morals, sell themselves in the despicable marketplace of immorality. O cross of Christ, Today, too, we see you in the foolish who build warehouses to store up treasures that perish, leaving Lazarus to die of hunger at the doorsteps. O cross of Christ, today, too, we see you in the faces of priests, consecrated women and men, good Samaritans who have left everything to bind up in evangelical silence the wounds of poverty and injustice. O cross of Christ, today too we see you in the merciful who have found in mercy the greatest expression of justice and faith. O cross of Christ, today too we see you in families that live the vocation of married life in fidelity and fruitfulness. O cross of Christ, teach us that the rising of the sun is more powerful than the darkness of night. O cross of Christ, Teach us that the apparent victory of evil vanishes before the empty tomb and before the resurrection and the love of God, which nothing can defeat, obscure or weaken. Amen. Amen.